Karen and the test results are back. Stage four. Cancer spread to the mandible bone. Stage four. Yeah, so we do chemo and radiation. See if we can attack it. I'd go straight for the surgery, right? Resect the mandible. Odds are better. You know what that surgery would do to this kid? Well, yeah, it could save his life. You want him to lose part of his jaw? Wind up disfigured, drooling. His life comes first, Coop. I realize that surgery may feel preemptive, but chances are he's going to get there anyway. His life is important to me. His, his whole life. He's coming in tomorrow to talk treatments. If we can tell him chemo and radiation, then there's some hope of a normal life there. I want to give him some hope. Today, it's a pleasure to meet you. You Good play to meet you as well. Uh, you play Sam Bennett on uh, Private Practice. I do. Now, you've done extensive theater work. Uh, how is television different? Television is different in that, well, first off, uh, there's no live uh, audience there. So uh, one of the great things about theater is playing off the energy that the audience brings and gives. So uh, you, you cannot, uh, you don't have that to depend on uh, for screen acting. Um, another big difference is the rehearsal process, usually in theater, all the time in theater. You have a certain amount, of, a certain number of weeks, usually, uh, where you can rehearse and kind of explore the character and memorize your lines and learn music, and you don't have that in TV, you maybe have two very quick rehearsals right before you shoot. Uh, one is for a camera, uh, and the uh, and the other one is is for the actors, is for for blocking. So that's that's a that's a major oh, wow, difference. Nice. And I've heard that uh, your wife is actually making an appear a guest appearance in private practice. She is. She is. We we shot those two episodes. Uh, not too long ago. So what's her role? I mean, can you disclose that? She plays uh, a, uh, a client of the practice. Uh, I think she has a child that is uh, that comes to see uh, Dr. Pete. All right, nice. Mm -hmm. Very nice. It was great uh, having her around. Come in, Mom. Meet Dr. Pete. Hi. Hi, how are you? Nice to meet you. I'm sorry. Uh, his dad usually takes him, so I wasn't sure if I should stay in or out. You can stay in. Right, Dr. Pete? Yeah, as long as you don't mind me sticking needles in his face. Oh, I don't know how long we're going to have to keep them in. <laughs> <laughs> See, she's funny, right? And pretty. Then she does Pilates like every day. Makes awesome meatloaf. Okay, Goof Nut, thank you. No, it's okay. I like meatloaf. <laughs> this is very trivial, but I'm a huge, huge Ella Fitzgerald fan. Oh, wow. I don't know, you have two cats. One is called Ella, one is called Coltrane. Yes. Is that correct? That is correct. So what's your favorite Ella Fitzgerald song? Uh... You can uh, you can get it if you try. All right. Nice work if you can get it. All right, cool. Yeah. I mean, is there a reason why that song in particular? That song? Hmm. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I just think she's an amazing performer, and I, I, like, uh, I like dancing to that song. Oh, she's awesome. She Speaking is. of things you like, what are your favorite hobbies? Uh, I'm very physical. I like uh, I like to move around a lot. So Should I'm, I move I'm in back a, a bit? Just give <laughs> be some careful. Space. <laughs> Watch out. Uh, sport, basketball, uh, tennis, uh, dance. Um, th those those three. You know, look, uh, just got into yoga lately. Trying to stretch out my muscles. Need Things of that, that nature. Yeah. Nice. And looking back at your career, mm -hmm. what what is your most favorite moment, memorable moment? In my career. Uh, probably the first movie I ever got cast, hearing over the phone that I, that I had gotten that movie. Was that how Stella got her group? Yes, yeah. correct. Awesome movie. Thank you. My Thank sister you. will die if she knew that I'm doing this movie. Oh, for you. well then don't tell her. We don't want her to die. No, I, I will that. tell her. <laughs> <laughs> Are you more of a doctor in real life now after playing private practice for a while? No, I mean, no, but I mean, I, I, I'm proud to, to know that, I, you know, we, we're learning new things on set, you know, every episode. Uh, things that I otherwise, you know, would know nothing about, and that's that's always pretty cool. Thank you for calling me. So, uh, tumor is up against the carotid artery. Now, the surgeon is afraid that at the rate that the tumor is growing, that it will erode into the artery and cause a massive bleed. What does that mean? Brandon needs surgery very quickly. Uh, what about the chemo? No, resecting the tumor is our only option. We're gonna have to remove a portion of his jaw. No, 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 he doesn't want surgery. I'm sorry. And have you ever been to the Middle East? No, I have not. Have you any plans of visiting? I almost, I almost went to Dubai. I almost had an opportunity, but it, uh, it fell through. But absolutely, 
I would definitely like to check uh, it out. We'd love to have you in yeah. Dubai. And, All right. uh, Hook it up, man. Okay, no worries. We'll do that. Let's work it out. And uh, I actually host a weekly show called Show Me More. Show Me More. It's an Ooh, entertainment show. that sounds show. naughty. <laughs> <laughs> so my question to you is, what do you want to see more of? What do I want to see more of? Or have more of? Peace. How Peace. about that? Peace. <laughs> and now the real answer. <laughs> Actually, that is my real answer. That is your real answer. Yes. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you, man. Take care. You can't tell Nay. Okay. And you can't say anything back. Or make any faces. <laughs> okay. Okay? Oh. Okay. The husband of one of my patients, there's something... happening between me and him? What? I'm not saying anything or making a face. Thank you. Having a conscience is brutal. 